Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Ali and today I'm going to show you what's in my carry-on bag. So in a few days time I have a 14 and a half hour flight. That's a long time. That's a long time to sit in one place. So I thought I would show you what I'm going to have with me, what I'm carrying, what I'm taking and also a few tips just in case any of you guys have a long haul flight ahead of you. Alright, well let's get straight into it. So in previous years when I've done this same flight, I've taken this bag as my carry-on, the Kanken bag, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this on my Instagram, a lot of you probably have one yourself, and it's done a really good job, it's done the trick. I'm just thinking this year I'm going to take something a little bit bigger and sturdier, so I'm still going to take this but it's going to go flat in my suitcase and I'm going to use it while I travel. So for this year's actual carry-on bag, we now have this bad boy. He's a lot bigger and sturdier and it has actual like back padding and strap pads, so it just is a little bit sturdier than the Kanken. Okay, so the things that are in here are either things that I need on the flight or things that are just valuable and I don't want to risk having them in my suitcase in case it is lost or damaged or anything else. So in pocket number one, the first thing we have is, this is like Mary Poppins bag in here, there's a lot of space. The first thing is my wallet. So this will have my ID, my debit card, cash for the country that I'm going to. I also like to keep some band-aids and hair ties in here just in case. Next, and very important, is the passport. This is obviously not my real passport. This is just for show purposes. If you are flying internationally and you're going on a visa, like J1, for example, like I am, keep that with your passport and keep that on you at all times. You don't want to lose it. Some people might even use bum bag or fanny packs, as the Americans call them. Keep your passport and your visa and your ticket together and safe and protected. That's the most important thing. Stick to it, Harry. That's very important. Stick to your ticket. Next up is, really exciting, my glasses. If you also need glasses, pack those. This is good for reading on the plane and watching movies on the little screen and it'll just help my eyes not get too sore. Next in the front pocket, this is a little less conventional, but I actually pack a couple of crystals. I remember once someone was like, why is your bag so heavy? And it's because I bring crystals traveling with me. Kind of like that scene in The Parent Trap when they put rocks in Meredith's bag. I'm in serious pain. My back. Except this is intentional. So these are the two crystals that I bring. I won't go into detail about the two crystals that I pick and like why I bring them in case you don't care, but I'll write a little something down below just in case you want to know why I pick these. Next, very important, I have snacks. So this here is just like a bar of chocolate, but you can bring anything you want. People don't realize you are allowed to bring food onto planes. Whatever you bring, just make sure you eat it or throw it out before you leave. I also have some of my favorite tea bags. That means on the plane, I don't need to order a drink or ask for their tea. I can just get a cup and some hot water and I have my favorite ready to go. Plane cards, I just have one here to represent that. But yeah, if you're traveling with someone, cards are a great thing to bring, whether you have like a long airport layover or you're waiting in the airport before your flight or even on the flight if you're sat next to someone you know or don't know you can play cards. And lastly in here, I have this little perfume sample. So I was sent a sample box from the company Skylar a few months ago and I just love these so much. A lot of people use like essential oils to rub on their temples and things like that to calm them down. I actually just have a favorite perfume sample that I love to spray on my wrists, smell it or sometimes put on my neck and it just brings me a bit of peace and calm and I guess also can remind me of home a little bit. So if you have a little perfume sample or essential oil or something like that, make sure it's under 100 mils. That's something that you could bring. And lastly in here, I have pens. So when you fly to a different country, you're going to have to clear customs and immigration. They're going to give you a form on the plane to fill out and it's just handy to have a pen and I just bring a spare in case someone else needs one. Now we move on to the big section. I'm going to start with the biggest and most expensive item, which is my laptop. So not only do I obviously want to keep this safe and protected, but I will also use it on the flight. I can watch movies, I can edit videos, schedule emails and write things and whatever. And it's just a great way to kill some time. Okay, next I have my diary. I try Travel diary is a great idea. If you haven't already bought one or thought of that idea, definitely pick one up if you can. I just love being able to look back over past year's travels and sort of see what was on my mind, even see what I did that day, see what I ate, see what I was thinking. On the plane, you have heaps of time to kill. So writing is always a great idea. Next, this little guy. This is my portable hard drive. So it just fits in this little case. In here, I can also put my spare memory cards for my camera, which I'm currently filming on. And that just keeps it protected, keeps it safe. And on this hard drive, I have a bunch of movies and TV shows in case I don't like any on the plane, but I usually do. Yeah, it's just another way to kill time. Next, we have my toiletries. I did just talk about this on my Instagram story. Follow me, by the way. In case you missed it, this I'll just go through quickly what I have. So if you can see that, I have these little reusable containers 
painted. So in that I've just put my body wash, shampoo, conditioner, as well as some coconut oil. I find it really hard to find products that are like cruelty free, eco-friendly, vegan, and also travel size. So making them yourself and just using products that you already own is just a really easy and cheap and simple way around that. In here I also have hand sanitizer. I definitely want to use that a lot more when I travel, especially on planes and things where there's just germs everywhere. I also have a facial spray just to sort of bring back a bit of moisture into my face. You get very dry when you're flying. I have my hairbrush and I have some tampons just in case. And following that, I have my makeup bag. This is not really because I need it on the flight. Obviously, I don't need to put makeup on on the plane. This is more just because I don't want to risk it getting lost or stolen or broken. There's things in here that could shatter. So I just feel a bit safer having it on me at all times. Next, I have entertainment. I try to bring one fiction and one non-fiction just because I don't know what I'm going to be in the mood for. I end up usually not really reading for more than an hour on a flight, but I always just like to have the confidence that I've brought them just for my own sanity. Yeah, if I can. Oh, a postcard from my last travels. That's cool. Yosemite National Park. See? The things you find. I'm using that as a bookmark now. I just really always recommend having a book on you no matter where you go. Always keep a book in your backpack, whether you're like getting the bus somewhere or getting coffee at a cafe. You can just never go wrong with having a book. Try to get smaller ones if you can, like paperback, like these two are. Hardcover books are a lot heavier. They take up a lot more room and space. If you have a Kindle, that's fantastic as well. I just really like the feel and smell of these kind. I now also have my camera bag. So this will contain the camera that I'm currently filming on. I will have my battery, my battery charger, anything else that I need for this. Just keeps it safe. Again, if I want to film anything on the plane, I probably won't, but it keeps it on me. I know where it is. I know that it's not getting damaged and yeah. Peace of mind. I also have my toothbrush and you can just throw some toothpaste in there like a travel size one or your regular one. You're on the plane for a long time. You're gonna have like three or so meals. So I just like to brush my teeth sometimes or if you get to the airport at the other, at the other end and you're feeling a bit gross, the easiest way to just immediately feel a bit fresher when you can't really have a shower is to brush your teeth. Ooh, this is a good one. I have gum. Gum would be perfection. A lot of you guys will know if you've flown before, when you are ascending and descending, <laughs> your ears can pop. And so that's just the sort of change in altitude and pressure. Chewing gum or chewing anything at all really, really helps alleviate that. So yeah, I just like to have a pack of gum whenever I'm flying because it really helps me not get that painful ear sensation. And I guess I might as well also tell you about what's on my phone for a flight. First of all, I make sure that my podcast app is nice and updated. You can currently see what I have. So I recommend just downloading a bunch of podcasts before the flight so that they're all ready to go. If you're going to camp this year, listen to Campfires and Color Wars. That's one of my favorites. I also like This American Life, Armchair Expert with Dak Shepard. That's fantastic. Harry Potter and the Sacred Text and Stuff You Should Know. All really good podcasts. And then along that same vein, I also have audiobooks. So I currently have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That actually reminds me I need to sync my phone and put the sixth book on there as well. So audiobooks are fantastic. If you're on a flight, you can just literally put your headphones on, close your eyes and fall asleep or listen. But I just love the sensation of someone else reading to me. I can just kind of zone out, do my own thing, relax, fall asleep. Oh, the Netflix app is fantastic. Download shows and movies beforehand. You can just watch them during the flight. Again, you're gonna have screens in front of you and there's plenty of entertainment on there, but it can't hurt. So I only have one game on my phone and it can be used without internet access. It's called Helix Jump. My campus showed it to me a year or two ago. Not to brag, but I am on level 670. So you can tell I use it a lot. You just kind of have to avoid the colors. Oh. Yeah, it's really addictive, it's really easy, it's really fun. And if you're someone that gets stressed during takeoff or landing or turbulence especially, I just think having a game or something on your phone would be a nice distraction and it just gives you something to focus on, something to think about and something to do. Something else you might not think of, if you're going to stay somewhere else and you're going over on a visa or just traveling internationally for a while, sometimes at customs and immigration, they ask you what the address is that you're gonna stay at. Make sure you have that written in your phone or in your wallet or somewhere that's easy to access just so you can immediately tell them or write it down. It's getting so dark, okay. So as well as all the electronics I mentioned earlier, make sure you have the charger cords for them all. And if you're changing countries, definitely take the converters, so. 
the plug thingies. And finally, just some extra things. I would pack a lip balm because it can get really dry on planes. An eye mask in case you want to have a sleep. Most airlines on a long haul flight will give you an eye mask, but if you just don't want to use theirs, I don't know if they've been recycled or not, pack your own. As well as some kind of warm jumper or jacket or pashmina or scarf because I don't know about you guys, but I get freezing cold on planes. No matter like how many thin little blankets they give me, I just need something to like cuddle up and like make myself warm with. Even if you think you won't get cold or you know the airline's gonna give you a blanket, you can use this as a pillow. So your girl always asks for a window seat, meaning I can just put this up against the wall, use it as an extra pillow, or I can put it over my legs. I just think it's always really handy to have on standby. Why not? A few final thoughts. Always, always, always be nice to the air hostesses and air host and steward that work on the airplane. Not only because like they might be able to get you free things, but just because I feel like their job is really hard and they have to talk to people all day and people are probably so awful to them and they're on their feet for a really long time. Like we're just sitting there cruising, watching a movie and eating food for, you know, 14 hours, whereas they're sort of walking around and doing stuff. So make sure they feel appreciated. Also, when you're getting on the plane, if you have a long haul flight, try to get on last because then you can see where all the empty seats are. I've flown to Europe before and there's been entire rows empty. And so by getting on last, you can see, okay, row three, there's no one in that middle row. I can go lay down there and have a sleep later, or I can just go and stretch my legs and sit there. If you're someone that gets nervous when you fly, talk to the person beside you. They might be able to ease your fears a little bit. Maybe they're a nervous flyer. Maybe you could help them. Also, if they're a local, they can give you tips on things to do, things to see, say hi, see where it goes. You never know what might happen. All right, it is getting really dark now. The sun is practically about to set so I'm gonna say goodbye but yeah please let me know if you have any tips of your own for carry-on or long-haul flights just anything like that I would love to hear your packing wisdom I hope you're having a good day and I will see you guys next time bye